in 18 years as an entrepreneur. I've never met a billionaire. And here I am, two weeks in a row, back to back, I get to meet two billionaires and they are also multicultural. How about that for breaking the mold? On top of that, I get to meet the great one, Wayne Gretzky, the greatest hockey player of all time. In addition to that, Coach Calipari, arguably the most successful college basketball coaches who's had some of the most prolific basketball players enter and get drafted into the NBA. To be here. When somebody asked me what do I do, I said, what do I do? I am a money doctor and I, and I own a financial hospital. <laughs> Damon, nice to meet you. Thanks for having Very me. Very good. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Uh, a lot of people watch you on TV yeah. and uh, they see your name, they see your brand. In your opinion, what is the core ingredients of a successful entrepreneur? Four ingredients of a successful entrepreneur, somebody who uh, knows that they're gonna have the door slammed in their face often, so they have a very strong rejection muscle. Somebody who is um, uh, very personable, they can attract like-minded people around them because you know you can buy anything in this world, but you can't buy uh, personality. Mm -hmm. right. uh, somebody who does their homework, and somebody who's ready to go, to go to work before everybody and go to sleep after everybody, and sacrifice it all. Even in the midst, they're broke, busted, disgusted, they still persevere. Yeah, because if everything was going well, then everybody would be a successful entrepreneur, right? Sure. It's when an entrepreneur really goes through the darkest times and right before it's, it's over, they just keep saying one last shot. You know, I gotta get up one more day. Now, we're on our way to visit with Daniel Alaric, CEO of Grunt Style, who started his company with 1,200 bucks and according to Forbes magazine, today is a $100 million company. Looking forward to meeting him because he's a vetrepreneur and a vetrepreneur is a veteran entrepreneur who went from military service and now into entrepreneurship because his new battlefield is business. What's cracking everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zipali here at Grunt Style in Carroll Street, Illinois, home of Grunt Style. Here to meet Daniel Alaric, CEO of a company went from $1,200 to a $100 million company. He's up there with, he's gonna get up there with the Nikes, the Reeboks, the Under Armors, this guy is inspiring a ton of veterans and entrepreneurs all at the same time. I'm here to figure out how he's doing it. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here in Grunt Style. Here with CEO Daniel Alaric. Having a great time here. It's about, it's pretty close to beer 30, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm very excited here. Uh, Daniel's a huge inspiration. I met him a few, was it a few months ago at Bunker Labs, which is a great operation there to expose entrepreneurship to veterans, aspiring veterans, and obviously like Daniel in the grind in the trenches, veterans doing some big things. He was recently fe uh, featured in Forbes magazine, running a hundred million, hundred million dollar company. So I'm really excited to be here. So how did you overcome the patience uh, of learning sales? Because a lot of guys don't like rejection. How'd you do it? It's, it was never about being rejected. It's, mm -hmm. it's always about getting that job done. Forbes magazine, yep. you mentioned there you started a company with $1,200. bucks. What was the first thing you spent your money on to build it to become a $100 million company? A big billboard. And it had our name on it with our website, and it cost us $1,000 a month, but all these graduations going on, families, everyone's gonna see it. It's gonna put us on the map. It was gonna blow us up. Did absolutely nothing. Zero. It was, it was something oh. that almost bankrupt us. I had no money. You know, $1,000 a month, I'm like, this is gonna make us so much money. 
nothing. It almost ran us dry. Did you, did you keep it for three months or? It was a year long contract. Oh my gosh. So 12 grand, nothing. Oh yeah, totally burned it. Money Smart Guy, Matt Cipolli here at Beer 30 at Gwenstow. Daniel Olark is behind us talking about his last day here at Gwenstow full time as he moves to San Antonio. Check it out. We know this is front style. We don't like starting controversy or drawing a long line in the sand and making people choose. And I love seeing all the cool stories of people who started here, uh, worked their way over there or worked their way up here, and just made the team so impressive. Guys, I started this company for 1200 bucks. Didn't know what the hell I was doing. And uh, it's amazing to look back. Now we're nearly 250 people. Uh, we're making a direct impact on everything we touch. We're just getting started. Outstanding stuff here. A lot of speed court, a lot of camaraderie here at Grunt Style. One of the best ways to grow your company is to get people to fight for your vision, your mission, and creating a company culture. Thinking about episode 16, our time in Las Vegas, where I got to meet the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Seeing him, his demeanor, his characteristic, his expectations of himself, silent, but at the same time internally very competitive. Internally, you'd, you'd never feel that from his verbal uh, conversation, but you knew as soon as he stepped on the ice, man, people feared him. Got to meet Coach Calipari. Now, that quite opposite. Coach Calipari was a guy that you knew that uh, he was excited. You knew that he was coach. You, know, you knew that he was gonna bring the best out of you just by this conversation with you, that you, know, you need to find your why. You, need, you know, eventually it's, it's gonna be past the money, it's gonna be past the house, it's gonna be past the cars. You got to find your why. And I'm thinking that's what taps into your greatness, not the material things, not the superficial things, but the things deep down inside you that brings out that greatness, that makes you fight through the tough times. Now, listen, Damon John, awesome. Uh, Coach Calipari, awesome. This? Wayne Gretzky, awesome. But listen, when you stand in front of your childhood hero, of which you're wearing his shoes every day, you kind of got to get rock style girl crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! Home Alone face. Woo! What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Spaulding here at Michael Jordan's restaurant, grand opening, Oprah, Illinois. Six rings, my God! The goat's here! And to think that growing up in the 80s and the 90s, what, do you, what does a kid do? What do you do? Especially as a kid watching and playing sports. You're watching the 85 Chicago Bears dominate the National Football League, probably the history of the, the whole game of football. And then you're watching Michael Jordan and Chicago Bulls take six championships. And then to finally visit with him and to finally meet him face to face, handshake, boom. And then to think that we're having a cigar with him. Cheers, Michael. Crazier things have happened in my life. I'm just not as crazy as this, guys. Instead of risking a five second selfie moment, my sweetheart and I, we said, you know what? Let's just be chill, let's be cool. <laughs> as best as we could, the next thing you know, an hour and a half later, smoking two cigars with Michael Jordan, got into his insight, got into the way he thinks, got into the way he challenged other people around him, got into the way he ran his businesses, met his uh, business operations manager at the Charlotte Hornets, Ahmad Rashad, Richard Dent, Otis Wilson. I was the only, you know, Sheena and I were the only couple there that had that much FaceTime and sit down time with him than anybody else that was invited to this restaurant's grand opening. So what's an entrepathy? Listen, this is a word we just created because inside I'm a frustrated jock. Inside I'm, I'm a competitor. Inside I treat my business like sport. Inside I don't want to treat my business like a hobby. Inside I don't want to treat my business like a job. I want to treat my business like an athlete. If I want to make athlete income, I got to treat my business like an athlete would treat a sport. That means showing up early, staying late, finding ways to improve myself at every moment, doing the little things that most athletes will do to go from good to great. And in the words of Tim Grover, to relentless. And being an entrepathlete reminds me of how I'm chasing greatness, how I'm chasing generational wealth, how I'm chasing the last name uh, on the back of my jersey to be something special that I handed over to my children. And that's to me, that's what being an entrepathlete is all about. <laughs>